Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Karina. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Neo Jacob. Neo Neo Jacob? Whoa. Is that like a future Jacob of like another city? No, I'm your pet now. Um. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Sorry. More like, more like pest, am I right? Hey. Oh. I pooped on the floor. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Neopets don't poop. It's a Neopet episode. We're doing <laughs> Neopets. There's no poop in Neopia. There is actually a lot of poop in Neopets, oh, okay. but uh, oh. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I then had a lot of questions. Yes, like, they, they eat, eat a lot. <laughs> okay, yeah. An annoying amount. Amazing. We're doing another Neopets episode. Yay! Because... <laughs> I really like the last Neopets episode where you guys designed your own pets and they were all beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd do a little follow up to that where we really indulge in one of the best parts about playing Neopets, which is customizing your pet by painting it fun new colors to oh. show how rich you are. I thought it was participating in the black market. I thought no. that was the most, it's not. It's a big part, but not a fun part. We're talking about the fun part. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> yes, why ice cream is the other fun part. There's two. But I figured since I'm so fond of the Drawfee Neopets that we've done before, I could assign you some paintbrushes from Neopets so you can make new colors for your Neopets. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. And the new colors also sometimes involve redesigns. Oh, completely. Great. Some Neopet paintbrushes just change the color of your Neopet, but other ones like really fuck it up. So <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I want one of those. <laughs> yeah. I am up first. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't remember, I mean, this is just fun. It's like a sequel episode, so you got to yeah. go back and watch the original <laughs> now. But for anyone who doesn't remember, I drew my interpretation of Mirka. <laughs> <laughs> with his, there it is. His very impressive tail uh, doing... Yeah. Some Abs. finance work. This is, uh, of course, back in 2019 when Julia was doing all my renders for me. So this was yep. a nice collab between oh. me and Julia. It's definitely me. So what uh, what am I painting <laughs> my Mirka with, Karina? So I thought for Mirka, it'd be fun to do the Moroccan paintbrush. Okay. So that is a reference to the Neopet world Moroccan. Um, <laughs> and this is an underwater world. So when you paint it Moroccan colored, it becomes aquatic. Oh, oh. nice. So it's a water sign. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So make it really sensitive. Okay. <laughs> and really wet. Yeah. Right. Maybe I'll just shrink this down and have it in the corner for reference. Yeah. <laughs> Here he there goes. It goes. <laughs> But yeah, this is a really fun paintbrush because it's one of two colors where uh, in new Neopets, Neopets 2.0, the Neopets don't necessarily follow the default poses. Oh, okay. Because they're all fishy. That's fun. And a lot of them resemble real life aquatic animals. So, so they can really get changed up. I'm taking the Vaporeon uh, <laughs> path. Because you know Evie's a a mammal yeah. looking, yeah. And but for the water one, they make it look like a like a fish. I think they 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 do a good job splitting the difference between fish and dog. <laughs> so I'm two medias deep of things I don't understand. <laughs> this is an episode for not Julia. <laughs> <laughs> what episode is for Julia? Though, for being fair, yeah. Don't worry, it will be. But Your yeah. time is coming, Julia. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I like how the general rule, if you're making something aquatic, is that ears are fins. Ears yeah. are fins. Like real aquatic creatures. Yeah, they hear with their little flippers. <laughs> and I'm eager to see how the tail becomes impressive in this new world. Yeah. <laughs> I am as well. 
I have an idea for him. Okay. Oh, boy. That, that's just me. <laughs> I think we keep the big teeth. Crucial. Yeah. Need them chompers. Oh, maybe it's like a walrus. Oh. oh. <laughs> maybe it yes. becomes walrus. Oh, I like that. That this is, is very cute so far. Yeah. What do walrus need them big teeth for? I think for punching each other. Yeah, really? I think they, they do attacks with them. Aren't there like easier places to put a weapon of killing on your persons? Well, they didn't choose, I think, for it to be there. <laughs> so you thought it would get in the way. You look down. God chose. God you chose. You sneered yourself. <laughs> and also like they had, they kind of are just like big tubes. Like their head is the only implement they have with which to attack other than their tail maybe. True. But their flippers are just itty bitty and they're just big like tubes of lard. I guess like having the teeth round like they are lets them still be aerodynamic in the water. Water dynamic, hydrodynamic. Hydrodynamic, we got, got there. there. <laughs> I figured it out, y'all. <laughs> yeah. This has become an adorable otter. This is so cute. Yeah, Thank it's you. Very cute. I'm just thinking about like walrus tusks now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I was thinking about, you know, how like giraffes with their big necks, they like slap their necks together. Yeah. And then like narwhals with their big tusk, their big horn. Yeah. They like slap their horns together. Yeah. And it seems like just like whatever feature you notice first on an animal is likely to be what they use to slap other animals with. <laughs> I think that's the case. Like you notice, th the first thing you notice on a capybara is the smug look. So are you suggesting that they just have like a smug off? Yeah, I mean, I, they don't fight really. So I think they just sort of have a stern sort of look at each other. Yeah. Silent conversation. Yeah. Narrow their eyes. Oh, yeah. here it comes. Here he is. The impressive tail. <laughs> Our old friend. <laughs> I do always love the choice of making the impressive tail just its own creature. <laughs> yeah. What's more impressive than that? <laughs> Should he be snorkeling or doing a full scuba? I think full scuba. I think full yeah. scuba. With the tanks. Yeah, okay. He can't snorkel that deep. That's true. And you know this Mirka is going places. Yeah, this Mirka is going deep. <laughs> I do want to hear, though, Julia, what your idea was for this. You know those antique diving suits? Oh, you wanted like a full like, I wanted, a like big basically orb. this creature is now tethered to a guy that walks on the ocean floor. Okay. Oh. That's fun too. <laughs> I should have done that because I don't I don't know what a scuba tank looks like. It's like this. It's like yeah. this. Yeah. It's whatever. It's like this sort it's of It's just a series of tubes like the internet. Like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but what's the underwater equivalent of doing taxes? <laughs> That's an excellent question. It's onshore <laughs> banking. Oh. 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 Onshore taxes. Yes. But he's off the shore. Yeah, you know how we say offshore bank account? Yeah, but I'm saying he is off the shore. He's underwater. Yeah, Jacob, yeah you so it would be onshore. So it's like the reverse for him. Oh, my God. Because he's offshore, he needs to he hide the money onshore. Or else the uh, underwater. <laughs> the maritime IRS. Tax yeah. IRS will come get him. <laughs> okay, I'm with you now. Okay, yeah. The Moroccan go. government. <laughs> we do still keep the tail abs, I think. Yeah. Well, if he's swimming all the time, yeah, gonna probably be even, stronger. even stronger abs. Exactly. <laughs> Excellent core exercise. Swimming. Yeah, I like that you seem to have implied that the tail didn't really transform. It's the same guy. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> the tail just sort of has to go along. With <laughs> yeah. You need a separate adjust. paintbrush for the tail. <laughs> You're spending bank on <laughs> this guy. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's so cute. He only has one foot, if I recall correctly. So Which he just gets one big tail. <laughs> one big flipper. So he has a tail again. Because he has a flipper. Well, it's a foot. It's just he's okay. wearing he's just wearing the flipper. Yeah. You know? <laughs> On his big human foot. On his yeah. big human foot. What's he doing? It's important. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Maybe he's on vacation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe he's just he's in, just chilling. He's just chilling. 
It's in, it's in, his work life balance is what's impressive. Yeah, what's impressive is he's <laughs> able to relax even with his busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of an aspirational, you look at him and go, yeah. wow, you know, he's really enjoying his life to the fullest. And that's impressive. I don't know if it's because it's been a while since I saw your Mirka, but it's just now hitting me how upsetting the anatomy of the tail is. It's very bad. Yeah. What is this? What is this? The torso <laughs> leads to the head, which leads to the foot. And that's all there is. And there's lungs in there, I assume, in the torso. And there's hands on the leg. Feel free to interpret this however you want. This is how I drew it originally. And so... I do really like this, though. You really captured the spirit. You Thank captured you. a spirit. <laughs> the yeah. spirit. A dark spirit. Some of the Moroccan Neopets have really dynamic, fun poses. Yeah, when you said the poses are different, I really yeah. wanted to to get that. Some of them still aren't great, but a lot of them are, and that's what makes them fun. <laughs> it's Walrus Vaporeon attached to a, a horrible guy who's... <laughs> Whose body makes no sense. <laughs> that's what we got. I hope that's what I hope that's what you wanted. It is. What's fun about this challenge too is that we don't even have to draw like a new thing. Yeah. We have like reference for the first time ever. Yeah. I hope people do go back and watch the original also it's for a the good one. For I the like context. That episode. It's the Very first episode, episode David edited for yeah, us. As special. Well. It's very special. This is my uh, underwater Mirka. Aww. It's great. Do you have a, an image of- Yeah, do you by a, chance would like to see the real? I would like to Moroccan see what a Mirka? real Mirka looks like when painted with this brush. A Mirqua. A Mirqua. Jamiroqua. Oh, he's a puffer fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's a lot really of the cute. more recent ones are based on real- aquatic creatures That's to the point better. where they make me kind of uncomfortable but I think this one suits yours really well thank you <laughs> this real one kind of looks like he's like on speed or something yeah, that's just what like, ah! Mirka 2.0 looks like. <laughs> it's just, it's just his face. <laughs> I like that they they eschewed the turning the ears into fins and just gave him fins and kept the ears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get you a Mirka who can do both. Yeah, that's Ay. beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. What a treat. I love it. Okay, so I'm up next, and I'm Jacob. sure everyone will recall with great fondness yes. Yes. my quiggle. Quiggle! Infamous quiggle. All tongues. I always forget tongue that the feet pours. are tongues, too. Yes. And now I remember again. <laughs> I hope we're doing a slow zoom on the quiggle right now, yeah. because <laughs> it is the most upsetting uh, I, it upsets me, so yeah. I figured I'd assign you a color that also upsets me. Oh, that's that's a good combo. Double upsetting. <laughs> yeah. Can you please take your quiggle and paint it elderly? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> elderly? Yeah. So just like- It's old. It's old. <laughs> This is a more recent color, so it came out after they added the option to like dress up your pets, I believe. So it does make your Neopet old, but it also gives them a very stereotypical old person outfit. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay. Some real high waisted yeah. pants. A lot of a lot of gray wigs, a lot of clothing involved in this color, which I don't like. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> some some of them are kind of cute. The Quiggle ones are kind of cute, so <laughs> I don't like it either, frankly, but But I thought it'd be a good match for this this horrid little critter. <laughs> they'll uh, they'll have to update the outfits to include uh, millennial fashions pretty soon because <laughs> yeah. we're all so old now. Oh my god, the, millennial paintbrush when <laughs> the, the youngsters <laughs> I there. would also like to add in that the actual paintbrush to paint your pet elderly is called the get off my lawn paintbrush. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's fun. We they, have they, fun here. <laughs> they have fun here in Neopia. But yeah, hot take. I am not a fan of this color. One time I zapped my lab ray pet too elderly and I was not happy about it. <laughs> oh, I imagine the lab ray was not happy about it either. Stolen years <laughs> off of its life. Yeah, does any pet enjoy being painted this way? I don't know. It's just one of those paint brushes where I guess it's more for theming aesthetics rather than the enjoyment by your pet. Oh my god. Like painting your pet gray, which makes them permanently sad. So Oh, <laughs> oh, oh buddy. This one's also sad. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gray and old. <laughs> you know, the old one was upsetting, but at least he seemed to be enjoying himself this one reached self-awareness and that's why he's sad get some teeth yeah, <laughs> yeah get some teeth <laughs> that it didn't have before oh, no. i mean all the pets that are painted elderly are still happy and jovial well, that's <laughs> not nice. quiggle yeah it's that's their golden years <laughs> <laughs> Quiggle misspent their life <laughs> and looks back with regret. This is Baby Dragon Part Two. Yeah, yeah. old Quiggle. Old Quiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Spent too many years gambling at the food club. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Jacob. (laughs) He never followed a guide, so he always chose incorrectly and lost all of his Neo points. Aw, this is cute, Jacob. (laughs) Love the idea of Joey playing Neo pets. (laughs) In my head, canon. I'm pretty bad at Yu Gi Oh! or Duel Monsters, excuse me. It's called Duel Monsters in the show. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I spend my time playing Neopets because you can't get sent to the shadow realm if you're bad <laughs> at that. Oh, I wasted <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is the saddest thing I've ever drawn. This is really yeah, emotional. I didn't ask you to make it sad. <laughs> This is how we view the prospect of aging. Yeah, I think you're projecting a little. Yeah. I'm not projecting. This is just what happened to this Quiggle. (laughs) All the other elderly Neopets are having a wonderful time, and this one's sad. This one is sad. When all of his tongues are touching, does that mean he can taste his other tongues? Oh, no. (laughs) Was his little feet tongues Mm, touching his tongue tongue? I guess you're right. What do our tongues taste like? What do our tongues taste like? Well, we can like roll our tongue back and and tongue our own tongue. <laughs> yeah, but we're not hitting all the buds. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> that not must feel like such a wild texture on your feet to rub all your, your foot taste buds against your tongue taste buds. <laughs> your foot taste buds. <laughs> Only if you're quiggle. <laughs> Can you experience that? Maybe this is why he's so sad. He doesn't like it. I'm telling you, he's sad because he reached self awareness. <laughs> I was thinking that he was sad because he stepped in something that tasted awful. Oh, he sure. can't get it out of his, the, get the taste out of his mouth. He stepped in poopy. Yeah, but yeah. who's poop? I don't know who poops in who Neopia, poops? but there are a lot of dung items. Oh. Yeah, maybe he's not sad all the time because of yeah. the brush. He just experiences emotions very fully in his old age. And right now he's feeling pretty sad about the poop he stepped in and tasted. <laughs> I mean, I would feel sad about it too. Mm. But later he's going to a, a singles <laughs> mixer. Oh no, <laughs> he doesn't even have a partner. His dating profile says, I'm all tongue, baby. Oh, he's also a pervert. (laughs) Yeah. That's a problem. I did just look up dung to see if there was any lore about where the dung comes from. 
because there's a lot of dung. It's a very easy item to obtain. But, but the pets don't poop. They do not produce waste okay. on their own. So the dung just shows up. Oh, there is a paintbrush for your pet pets where you can turn them into dung. That seems wrong. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> it's not right to do. Uh, I guess I'm done. This is just an Aww, old, sad quiggle. It. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute and so depressing. Yeah. But you know, I, he's still got uh, time. He'll get it together. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see the real elderly quiggles? Yes, please. Because there's two different ones, depending on your pe if your pet is a boy or girl. Oh, it's so crusty. <laughs> oh, they're so crusty. <laughs> I, I am just personally not a fan of elderly <laughs> Neopets. The, the texturing on the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Someone rehydrate these pets, please. It feels like a, a collage. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like a wow. salad hangers. Yeah, I do not like to look upon it at all. Yeah. I like mine better. But yeah, yours is really cute. I wish they all looked like this, although maybe not sad. That's part of the appeal. <laughs> this is if you mix the old brush and the gray brush together. Yeah, this is a cross paint. Yeah. I play Neopets. <laughs> I know about customization. <laughs> and I don't. Yeah, clearly. I like it. Thank you, I'm finished. Julia, you hopping in? Yep, time to draw my own war crimes. You know, we were talking about how Quiggle is the most upsetting one, but I feel like they're all upsetting in their own ways. No, they are. So It's just the body horror of Quiggle. Yeah. Having tongue feet, I think that pushes it a little bit past the others. Yeah, for but me again, personally. Mine has a whole other guy attached to it. Yeah, but I didn't think about that until today. <laughs> it just doesn't hit as hard as tongue pores. Yeah. Are we ready to look at my opium den Neopet? Yeah. Yes. Aisha. Aisha, welcome back. Aisha. <laughs> there it's it is. Heading quickly. <laughs> it's a medium sized Neopet. There it is. Oh, yeah, and it's smoking the quiggle. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of your Aisha, and I'm a big fan of this color. Someone has it's one to of be. my favorites. Yes, it's me. <laughs> I have to be. So I think, and I think everyone would want me to give you this color. So can you please take your Aisha and make it mutant? Oh, boy. A mutant? Yeah. So this is the second color that does not conform to Neopets 2.0. They have unique poses, etc. And when you mutate your Neopet, it just kind of gives it all sorts of weird features. Like it can have extra eyes. It can be like, have like big scary teeth and tongue. It can be bald. <laughs> <laughs> it can have extra limbs. The, all of them are really unique, and that's what I like about it. <laughs> yeah, let mutants be bald. I think I think it's just kind of the horror paintbrush, and um, I think it's really fun. That does sound fun. Yeah. It's a good one to end on, I think. I think so, too. So have at you. I think it tracks, too, with like this Aisha has been smoking this frog juice for so long. Like There's <laughs> yeah. going to be side effects. <laughs> we don't know what yeah. that does. Well, mutant color can, aside from alternate methods, uh, only be achieved not through a paintbrush, but through a transmogrification potion. More like transmogrification, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey. so maybe it accidentally nice. smoked a potion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hate when that happens, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta... You know, you gotta pay attention to what you're putting in your your hookah. <laughs> but yeah, I love the mutant color. Some of them are so fun and unique, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what Julia does with this. And it's so fun to look back at this Aisha, because I feel like it was from a very specific era of Julia droppy drawings. 
Yeah, the lounging pose. Yeah, the reclining. Yeah, the reclining period. Period. Of Julia's art. <laughs> <laughs> My most tired period of art. <laughs> Julia let her uh, real life influences shine through. <laughs> As all great artists do. Yeah. You really get a sense of how <laughs> how they're feeling. So confused where you're going with this, Julia. And I'm, okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's leaning forward now. It's, yeah. It's, still on a, it's sitting like a, one of our cats. Yeah. That's so yeah. cute. Loaf. <laughs> the bottom half became more normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the thing with mutant Neopets is that they're supposed to look scarier. Some of them, there's no real cohesive like rule for a mutant Neopet. It's just give it more heads, give it some spikes, more eyes. Some of them have little robo bits. And I, two of my favorite ones straight up are just demons. <laughs> <laughs> little Nas X. They have like fire. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> I like this face. It's sort of a confident but like sinister look. <laughs> I'm very excited to hear the the thought process behind this. Direction. There is none. <laughs> Julia turned her brain off <laughs> and just went for it, and I respect that. <laughs> oh, yes. second head. It's a hydra. It's an hydra. Oh. An hydra. <laughs> yeah. 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 I draw, you draw, we all draw <laughs> the Hydra. Hey. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Who's the second <laughs> head then? <laughs> Who's that? That's what this first head is wondering, I yeah. guess. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what are these this ears? is um, the id and the ego have split. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't forget the ear stocks. Yeah. <laughs> the second head came out and was like, it's time to start investing in stocks. And the first yes. head's like, no, what? <laughs> I just like to sit on the cushion. I've been talking to Mirka's tail. And <laughs> he's got some really good ideas for how to grow our portfolio. <laughs> What's a portfolio? No. <laughs> I don't want to. I will say that my portfolio in Neopets fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate stocks, I think. <laughs> well, you got to talk to Mirka's tail. Yeah. Apparently. When he's not on vacation because he does I not I make accept. all my money betting, not doing stocks. It takes too long. <laughs> the market's too unpredictable. <laughs> Isn't stocks just another form of betting? Isn't that something we learned in 2021? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you put it in GameStop, it is. <laughs> yeah, which we don't have in Neopia. <laughs> There's no GameStop in Neopia. <laughs> no frogs, no GameStop. Is there uh, any uh, Lots of poop. Quiggle coin? Yeah, what about Quiggle coin? <laughs> what about Quiggle coin? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm investing heavily in Quiggle coin. Yeah, I, we got to start, it's a start mistake. Quiggle coin. The value is skyrocketing. <laughs> Quiggle invested in Quiggle Coin and look at him now. <laughs> yeah, he got too old. <laughs> he was the only investor and somehow still <laughs> lost all his money. <laughs> <laughs> unclear, very volatile. <laughs> Instructions unclear. I'm old now. Help. Help. Oh, this one's having a nice Aww. time. Yeah, that one's just laying there. I'm getting... Uh, you know what this is reminding me of is the is the Thomas the Tank Engine drawing <laughs> yeah. that Julia made. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that could mean anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julia's never drawn anything weird about Thomas the Tank Engine. Maybe this is what happens when the, the cozy coop finally escapes <laughs> from the confines. No one remembers the Thomas the Tank Engine drawing I did. I don't get tweeted about it a lot. <laughs> no. No one remembers anything that we say or do. No. And then, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> A split head. These are the twins. The twins. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> this looks like a dog got a 
horrible alien parasite that then erupted out of its head. <laughs> and this is that moment of eruption. I do, again, love the choice of body became more normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Head is a mess. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good, Julia. Thank you. And now we, you know, we can see that Julia feels a, a multitude of different emotions, not just <laughs> tired. Still still somewhat tired and worried, <laughs> but also calm and confident, happy. Yeah. I've taken on many hats which require many heads. <laughs> I, I can't I can't quite get a bead on that far one. That one just sort of looks like a, a point. Yeah. Maybe I'll rotate. That one's his, the mystery head. <laughs> Yeah, what is this? That's face the mysterious saying? head. Can I ask a fun question? Yeah, what's up? So, as I've mentioned, that one has a hat. <laughs> there, there's like dress-up <laughs> items for your Neopets. Uh -huh. So, for <laughs> colors such as mutant, which are unique, they do have like dress-up items specifically <laughs> for them. If I were to put a wig on this Neopet, where would it go? The, the body. Yeah. Yep. yep. That makes sense. Thank you. I love it. That makes sense. <laughs> it's got a little toupee on its spine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, your rolly backpack's not doing you any good up there. This one wants to travel. <laughs> the wheels. <laughs> you can't. The wheels don't reach the ground. That one, that one just wants to go. It's just holding it in the air. <laughs> this is like a beautiful pandemic art piece you've made. It's like. <laughs> representing the many things you feel during pandemic times. Yeah, this is deep. Yeah. This is deep. Every day I wrestle with the twins. <laughs> Julia just comes on this show and makes true art happen. <laughs> and it's it's always a pleasure to to see, to experience. <laughs> I feel like I come on this show and I accidentally make everything into kind of a political cartoon. <laughs> Is this a political cartoon? <laughs> yeah, you need to label it. Yeah, can we get though. some labels? Because it's <laughs> okay, not clear on. to me. Um, no, but, but if you don't label it, it's art. When you start labeling it, it becomes a political yeah, cartoon. Yeah, I need to be told what you're telling yeah. me. I want it spelled out. Okay, I don't want to think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You just keep adding more. Oh, this person. It's like a spaghetti. That's the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> We're making a commentary about um, freedoms. Yeah. This one just has a little hand. I just wanted him to have a little hand. The different disparate faces, you know, even though they may view themselves as individuals, are all attached to the, the whole, the whole of the, of the self. Yeah representing society <laughs> because we live in a society. Yeah. That's ultimately what all art is about. Yeah. We live in a society. We do live in a society. This one. Neopia. Society. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and that society is Neopia. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think Beautiful. my quiggle's done. Amazing. <laughs> this isn't a quiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an Aisha. Is this a quiggle? This <laughs> I did quiggle. All Neopets are called quiggles, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I love the idea that that's not a label. They just got a tattoo <laughs> that says society yeah. on their tail. <laughs> See, they released this uh, color and then they had to like limit it and put it away for a while because it was really confusing and divisive. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to show you the regular mutant Aisha as if it bears any impact on oh. your life. <laughs> well, I got multiple mouths. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did. I've done it. This is the closest I've You didn't I've put gotten. them on the ears, but they well, could be ears. They, they could be ears, yeah, we don't know. We don't you're, know. Yeah, you're correct. You know what? <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter. Yours exists now, and they should add it to the game. I'm such a fan of my globe-trotting head. It's really good. <laughs> it's very cute. He's just he's trying to get away, but he can't. You can't escape society. You can't. Yeah. Oh wow. You gotta you gotta stay in and participate, man. Mm -hmm. Damn. If any Neopet staff <laughs> comes across this, 
Do you want to collab and make a drawfee brush? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, do a drawfee would be brush. Amazing. Hell yeah. Just just throwing it out there. Yeah. You, you miss a hundred percent of shots you don't shoot, take. Yeah, we gotta gotta shoot your shot. <laughs> oh man. Let me know. <laughs> awesome. Julia, this rules. Thank you. I love it. We all did good work today. <laughs> really good. I love these Neopets. Yeah. <laughs> these Neopets rule. If you want to see more stuff like this, why don't you do the, the like and subscribe and all that jazz? Hit the bell. We also have a Patreon if you really like us and you want to support us mm. and, and help us keep this channel going. Uh, we got plenty of tier rewards. It's very cool. We got a Discord where you could talk to us. It's great. Yeah. Uh, we also do Twitch streams on Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We also have a merch store. All the links are in the description. They're right there They're in the description. They're right there. Neopets, at us. Let's collab. Yeah. At us. Please. We're sorry. We're sorry. And remember to do your dailies. <laughs> sorry. And here's my daily. I'm sorry. 